if that rapist should now be considered a woman? Um, I think that rapist uh, should be considered a rapist. Uh, that is what I think. Uh, that individual has been convicted of rapes um, and that therefore is the terminology. I'm well, hello, it's time to see Nicola Sturgeon floundering in the Scottish Parliament as her transgender ideology crashes and burns. Now, Nicola's answer to that question, it was as though someone had said to her, what colour is your car? And she said, electric. And you say, no, what colour is it? And Nicola Sturgeon said, no, no, I'm thinking about charging it up. So it's electric. That's all that matters. But Nicola, rapist is not a gender. Not even in wacky gender studies land is rapist a gender. I mean, what pronoun badges are rapists supposed to wear? A raper, rapist? Is rapist gender going to have a flag like all the others? Is it going to be on all the school notice boards around Scotland? Are we going to be able to select it from the options on Facebook? Then I got to say there, OK, if someone has raped someone, yeah, they can't change what they've done. They're a rapist. But surely they might be able to change what sort of person they are in the future. So that's not the core of their identity, necessarily. But notice how Nicola Sturgeon avoids using pronouns, the individual. It's like plain taboo. She did pretty well. Because if she said he, she, or they, or them, or whatever, that would have been misgendering, which is a hate crime. Because uh, Humza Yusa says, Scots who pronounce uh, that transgender women are not actually women will face criminal prosecution under the impending hate crime legislation, which is now in place, it's passed, if a court finds that their speech stirred up hatred, said Justice Secretary Humza Yusa. Now, the police have actually rejected that hate crime law because they say it's so vague that, that they can't implement it. Uh, but Humza Yusa said that misgendering could be a hate crime if it stirred up hatred. So Nicola Sturgeon, if she'd have slipped into using uh, he or they, then it would have at least been a hate incident uh, in any case. What a mess they're in. When a man rapes two women, we don't think that he should be considered a woman just because he says so. This individual claims to be a woman. What I said is that I don't have information uh, about whether uh, those claims have validity or not. Well, I've got all of the information I need to assess the validity of Isla Bryson's claim to be a woman, and it's here. You might call it anatomical information. But to Nicola Sturgeon, I would say, surely that's the whole point of a Gender Recognition Act reform, is that there is no other necessary information. All that's required is self-declaration. But that diagnosis, what do you think it involves? You know, a blood test, a brain scan or something? No, it involves going to see a doctor and saying, I think I'm a woman trapped in a man's body. I've always felt that way and I need to set myself free for my own good. I mean, you just have to repeat the lines and you get the diagnosis. So men who are autogynophiles, in other words, basically they get turned on at the thought of being a woman. So they dress up as a woman for the purposes of sexual gratification. They know full well, if you go along to a doctor and say that to them, you're not going to get your diagnosis. So they know what lines. You have to go with the lines, aren't you? A woman trapped in a man's body, etc. And you will get the gender recognition certificate. But this idea that some people might forfeit the right to be a woman somehow, that's just completely alien to the Gender Recognition Act of 2004 that stands across the whole of the UK. But these issues are not new, uh, nor have the arrangements within the prison service for dealing with transgender prisoners changed in any way. As Nicola Sturgeon is correct. This is not new. Just the Conservatives have been opportunists at the moment. Now, don't forget the Conservatives think that a man can become a woman in law, but it seems to be that they think a man can become a woman in law unless they're a violent criminal. But the Conservatives have never said that before. That's not their policy. That's not their UK policy. They don't oppose the Gender Recognition Act. They don't want it modifying to put in a clause that says violent criminals can't change gender. They've been perfectly happy with it. No transgender prisoner uh, with a history of violence, including sexual violence against women, uh, will be housed in or transferred to a women's prison. Now, the SNP and the Conservatives are agreeing here. They both agree that Isla Bryce and so-called shouldn't be in a women's prison. Uh, the SNP won't say that he's not a woman. The Conservatives will say he's not a woman. But why? I mean, can a violent person not be a woman? I don't quite understand why that would be. Some women are violent. I mean, as far as the Conservatives are concerned, a violent person can't become a woman. Can a fraudster become a woman? Can a stalker become a woman? Can a paedophile become a woman? Can a burglar become a woman? 
I, I mean, listening to that, I mean, who's making more sense, the Conservatives or the SNP? Well, basically, they're both mired in transgender ideology, so they're utterly confused. Now, the last video I made on this topic uh, on, on YouTube, it's had about 30,000 views, but it's been banned by Facebook, and it is still banned, because Facebook believes that the people of Scotland shouldn't be able to choose what policies they want. They shouldn't be able to listen to political parties putting forward their view on this matter and decide for themselves. Facebook believes that it's Facebook's job to narrow the range of debate and decide which policies can be put before the electorate. So the Scottish Family Party's policy repeal the 2004 Gender Recognition Act because a man can't become a woman and a woman can't become a man. Facebook will not allow us to say that on Facebook. So uh, from now on, I guess we won't be able to do that. So for Facebook, you know, make sure you come over to YouTube and Twitter. So this placard that we've got, Scottish Family Party placard, surely that must be getting pretty close to being a hate crime. If Hamza Yousaf said the hate crime bill, which has been passed, says if you pronounce that transgender women are not actually women, you'll face criminal prosecution if it stirs up hatred. So we're definitely saying transgender women are not women. We're definitely doing that. Are we stirring up hatred? I would say no, there's no hatred in this whatsoever. Uh, but Nicola Sturgeon, in her recent interview, she was saying apart from people with the feminist women's spaces type of objections, the other people, they're transphobic. What's the definition of transphobic? Maybe something like hates transgender people. So I believe our placard there is hovering on the edge of criminality. Uh, so we've decided we're not going to use it anymore. No, only kidding, only joking, of course. So I've ordered some more today. So if you want a Scottish Parliament where the people in it are just trying to iron out the details of how to implement the distorted transgender ideology, vote for the existing parties. If you want to see the whole ideology challenged and ultimately rejected, then you need to join the Scottish Family Party or become a donor. There's a link below. Thanks for watching.